Hey, what's up, beer tubers? Eric today back with another beer review. Today I'm coming at you with something I've been waiting for for a long time. I've been tweeting my balls off for this one. Uh, really, really, really looking forward to it. I've got to today's, it just hit today, Stone Enjoy By 517.13 IPA. Um, if you know anything about Stone Brewing Company, you probably know that they uh, have been brewing since back in, I want to say it was November, so when Enjoy By started, they wanted to create the most devastatingly fresh IPA you could get your hands on. Um, they brew this one specifically not to last, not to sit on. Um, it's pretty exciting. The hot bill, I believe, stays the same throughout the series. I'm not sure. I think that's what Mitch Steele said, but... Clocks in at 9.4% by volume. Without further ado, I'm going to quick get into this one. I just want to quick say I'm a staunch believer that the American public has good taste when, when presented with great options. That was a quote on the cap from Greg Cook, the CEO. Stone. Man, <laughs> this thing stinks when you open it. Just dang hop aroma. So, get into the pour quick. Yep, just about what you would expect. Classic West Coast IPA. You know, really nice hazy golden orange. Actually, that's pretty damn clear. Um, fat finger head. Nice lacing. Yeah, um, I'm going to get into the aroma on the Enjoy By. Thanks for stopping by today. Yeah, super dank, uh, piney um, West Coast hops. Definitely probably some Simcoe. Probably a ton of Simcoe. Oh. That is that is a complex and nice smelling uh, IPA. Definitely tons of citrus character. I get you know grapefruit, a splash of passion fruit, tropical notes, backed up with that just almost off-putting Simcoe. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've smelled Simcoe like that. Uh, overall, really nice smelling beer. Taste on the Enjoy by IPA. Man, I had Surly overrated last week, which will also be on the show. Yeah, you know, I wasn't sure I could find a drier IPA out there. Well, I did. This thing is dry as a bone that's been rotting in the grape for 50 years. But, uh, man, this thing is... Medium to full mouthfeel. Um... Really encompassed by the dryness. Nice, nice bitterness that just kind of slowly makes its way over your tongue. It doesn't just punch you in the face, kind of like their Ruination 10th Anniversary did. This one's a little bit more um, subtle. Uh, hot flavors I get, you know, ton of the, it, it, it's just, it's all melded really well. Like the hops, really, you can't just pick up, oh, there's Citra here, there's Amarillo here, or there's Apollo, etc., whatever the hops may be. I forget, I didn't look up the bill prior, but um, really bright flavors. This one was bottled 412 of 13. It's already here in Minnesota on the 17th at 1 p.m. Really solid stuff. I, I guess I've been reading about this and seeing pictures of it all over Untapped and various social networks, and I've been really excited to get my hands on it. And I think it's well done. You can taste the alcohol, and I'm a big fan of not tasting the alcohol, but uh, if I had to give a score on the Enjoy By IPA from Stone Brewing Company, which I've been probably most excited for this year for uh, a beer to come out, other than a few others on my radar, man, I'm slightly disappointed for some reason. And maybe it's because I've been talking it up in my mind so much and to my friends and, you know. To me, it's just like a real, like a, a beefed up stone IPA with a higher alcohol by volume. I don't get those ultra fresh citrus hops that I, I wanted from this. Um, that doesn't mean it's not good. 
It's just not what I thought it was going to be, given um, the reading I had done on it. I'm going to go with a... Man, a 92 out of 100? Maybe a 91? Uh, I think I... I j you know, for a beer that you want to be consumed, they say there's no better time than right now to enjoy this beer. Right on the side of the bottle. And, you know, something that they hype up to drink now, now, now. Day you get it. Don't sit on it. Um, why have so much alcohol come through on it? Why not put this in... Shit, why not put this in six packs or even four packs? Drop it at like 7.5... And just, you know, really make it something that you can really sit there and enjoy on a hot day. I don't know. Maybe I'm going off on a tangent, but I'm going to 91. I think Stone, you know, is making a point here in the beer community that for Imperial IPAs, IPAs, you know, anything with a lot of hops really needs to be delivered to the consumer fresh. And if, to me, that's what it's all about... As I think it is, given their packaging, and they keep releasing it to markets that want it. Um, I commend them for that. I commend them for getting a beer from California to Minnesota in less than five days on the shelves from packaging. More brewers should strive to do that. Uh, because, you know, how many times do you go to a liquor store and you see an Imperial IPA or an IPA that isn't as highly touted as some of these, you know, hard to get, and it just sits and sits and sits. And you finally, well, I'll pull the trigger on one. And you bring it home, and it tastes like dank vegetal onions. And it's just awful. Uh, Mark Starr from The Hoppery, if you've ever watched his videos, um, I'll put a link in the description. This guy had a 200-run review session. Uh, he did 200 reviews on YouTube, and he retired um, from doing beer reviews. But he, every episode, in and out, praise to everyone who was a watcher, to fridge the hops. And it's true. If you're going to sell fresh hop beers and hop beers like this, they need to be kept cold from the time they are packaged to the time they are delivered to the consumer, and you need to keep them cold in your household. That is, I think, what Stone's getting at here. For that, I commend them. And maybe, you know, I believe this beer is just as good as the hype entails. Just for me, wasn't as citrusy as I would have liked it. Um, I'm going to sit here and I've got half a bottle left, which, again, at 9.4% is dangerous. So, cheers, guys. Um, please always remember to respect beer, and thank you for stopping by for another beer review. I'll see you again, guys. Thanks.